here in round one, I presume we're on the draw, deciding. All right, gonna have to mulligan. Uh, this hand's fine. Okay, uh, I still think we we want to open with Evolving Wilds. It's not going to let us uh, turn to Celestial Flare, I guess, but that doesn't matter. All right, Leaf Gilder is going to be a little bit better than our turn to Subterranean Scout, but I think Cobble Brute potentially is going to be good defensively this game. Oops. Had Cobble Brute on the mind. Uh... Yeah, double Volcanic Rambler is pretty awkward with the, the mulligan hand for sure. But it's okay. Oof. That's pretty good for my opponent. Should be pretty happy. Some high turn three value right there. So, at this point, I actually don't want to trade my scout for a uh, empath. Oh, well. Flare's a card, all right. I probably, well... I mean... I can Celestial Flare and Empath. It doesn't feel great, but I think it might be what I do. So, if he jams a Force Mage, puts it on the Empath, the question is, do I do Flare? I probably do, I guess. It's not great. Alpha. Hmm. I don't want to Flare the Empath, I don't think. Do you want to draw land here, however? There we go. Let's drop the brute. I don't think I'm block. Uh, he can play Force Mage next turn. I'm going to play it safe. I feel like I get beat down a little bit too hard. Otherwise, I guess if he has removal for Cobble Brood, he can still swing with both of these. But I at least want to keep the Leaf Gilder at bay. Oh, he's got a combat trick for sure. We'll block the Alpha. I think he's he's got to have a combat trick, but I can't really... I guess I could have just taken it. Maybe that would have been better. Like it's probably Titan Strength plus Trample. Because, I mean, he didn't jam the Force Mage, but maybe it's because Force Mage wouldn't get him out of Cobble Brute range anyway. Yeah, so he's going to give Trample. We're going to take a, just a ridiculous amount of damage. I'm in a pretty tough spot now. Oh, he didn't give it Trample. Well, I guess that's lucky me. It's probably because he's got post-combat play. Post-combat Force Mage. Well, that doesn't really make sense, however. Fifth land. We're in a pretty bad spot now. 
Can I even block? I, I Honestly, I don't think I can. I can't block. I honestly can't. Like, basically, I'm keeping Scout back to keep Gilder back. That's it. It's pretty awful. All right, so we have to bust Flare, which of course I don't like, but I don't know what I'm supposed to do. <laughs> Otherwise, I mean, I'm just, it, we did not have an ideal, we didn't have our ideal plan. We didn't execute our game plan at all this this game, I'm not going to lie. I mean, there's still time, but having both our six drops off the mulligan, that was like really unideal, absolutely. Yeah, so we like if we don't get land here, I think we're just dead. I think it's GG's. All right, so we did get the land. Now he has to have nothing. Like I feel like we've had our back against the wall this entire game. So we play Rambler. Do I die? I guess I don't, but I have to block the Alpha. Which means I'm going to lose my Rambler. That's pretty bad. I don't think Tactics could look any worse, unfortunately. This just was really not a hand for Kithian Tactics. Ugh, I don't know what to do here. So I play Rambler. I'm forced to block Alpha because otherwise I take five, which is lethal. If I play Suppression Bounds on Alpha, I take four. But then I have to do more than... I think I have to play Rambler. I have to trade with Alpha. I have to hope he has nothing. I have to draw a two drop. There's a lot of things that have to happen here to for me to stay alive next turn. All right, so let's figure this out. Game two, we need to draw better, first and foremost. Absolutely have to draw better. I think Molten Vortex would have absolutely just wrecked that game. Um, Yoke Docks as, like, early blocker. I don't know what we're taking. I think Tactics, I almost want to go now. It just it seems so bad. It just seemed bad in that hand, though, because we saw zero Dragon Fodder. Jailer to lock down fatties. I don't love it. Basically need to open a hand that doesn't have two volcanic ramblers in it and does have dragon fodders and two drops in it. Maybe even vortex. I'm not going to sideboard any yoke docks. I think we just try again and we just got to draw better. Okay. Kind of sucks we have Sigil, but we'll keep. We have Double Rambler again? Okay. Maybe I shouldn't have kept. I should have looked at it a little bit closer. But actually, mulliganing this hand would have been stupid. So um, that's just 
that's just not good distribution, but it happens. What can you do? It's totally outside my control. I can't control opening a hand with double Rambler. It's so awkward. Hmm. Um, I don't want to trade Freeblade for Goblin, so I think I play Fodder. Next turn, I probably do Sigil of Valor. So I think I get in for four here. You can double block it, which is still fine. Just chump blocks it, which is also fine. All right, it's pretty rotten. It pretty much sucks, but I can't do anything about it. So we need to draw land here, or else we're just in copious amounts of trouble. Did get the land. Um, I think we just attack with two guys. Play a regular. So now he doesn't have a chump block for our, our irregular. Hardabies would be good. Um, I think the plan is swing with the regular, drop Cobble Brute Pass. So we still can't block the Acolyte, but I'm trying to get to the point where I can bash in plus leave up, tap down. Hardabies would be fantastic. Seeing as it could block Acolyte plus dig up a uh, Suppression Bonds for me. Alright, so we take six here. It's not GG's, which is good. Two cards left in my opponent's hand. Definitely want that fifth land. Fifth land is like paramount to victory here. All right. So I think the plan is swing, cobble, brute, play Heart of Beast. Although I'm at five. Yeah, I probably just want to jam the Heart of Beast and pass. I think we got to go into defense mode here. We've got a, a good late game hand anyway. Especially if I can find another white mana to like double tap. Alright, it's not the end all be all. We have a chump blocker.
could also double block. Maybe I do double block then. Yeah, I think I do. The reason I, I'm going to do some blocking here, it makes our sigil worse, but it keeps our irregular safe, which, based on this board state, I like. Oh, I see. Hmm. I mean, that complicates things a little bit. Yeah, I was going to say, I hope he doesn't attack with the leaf kill there. Okay. So we're going to go for block here and double block here. Could also chump the seismic elemental. Like, if I chump the size of Elemental, this goes back to a 4-4. Four, four. But this way, if he has a combat trick, he can only save one of his guys. I, I think I like that more. Otherwise, I'm, I'm pretty much okay with both of these trades. Our Sigil just got awful, but it's okay. Okay, so he did only have one combat trick, so he doesn't get to save both his guys. It's still not, I mean, it's not very good for us, but. Tactician can actually block the Acolyte. Otherwise, I suppression bonds the Acolyte, but I don't love that either. I think we just go uh, a Tactician pass. Actually, maybe I equip... Uh, Sigil, just because I have the mana. I'm not going to attack, but... Whatever. I've got the mana. So now I can block Acolyte, and I keep back the Leaf Gilder and the Force Mage. Okay. Rock Smallers. All right. I mean, we have the bonds for it. Oh, is his last card? All right. It looks like we're going to lose to Titanic Growth, which is sad, but what can you do? That was a tough match. Yeah. I'm pretty... I'm, I'm honestly upset about it. I, I wish we had opened a hand that didn't have Double Rambler both games, but I... There's just nothing you can do about it. So, d depressing loss. I'm not happy about it. Uh, I liked our deck. I thought it was pretty cool. I wish I could have explored more of it. But 8-4s uh, are rough, man. 8-4s are rough beats sometimes. Sometimes you just get beat down hard. So, uh, back to Swiss, and we'll see you for the next one.